so hey guys welcome to my channel so this video is going to be about how to mount an action camera on the helmet if you are new to the channel please subscribe for such videos so i'll be taking you to the step by step procedure to how to mount the action camera so let's get started so here's the list that you'll need for mounting the gopro video is being pre-shot uh, as i don't want to put something that is untested so this is my xor helmet and i had a mount before but uh, it was not that great so i'm retrying with uh, m seal so this is m seal so inside this uh, there are these two clays indians might know well <laughs> so we have to mix them properly so they can stick together So we have to mix those two. So this is ready and uh, mind it that it gets hardened after a few minutes or so. So we have to be quick to apply it. So you will also need a scale. So you know uh, you get it very clean and neat. So this is my GoPro and I had a mount before. So this is like rectifying my mistake. So what I've done was I was uh, attaching my camera to the center. The problem is the camera of GoPro is a little bit towards the right and it ruins the POV while riding. Like the right left side mirror is more into view than the right side. So it's a, like off balance. So what I'm going to do is take this mount and adjust it in such a way that the camera is aligned to the center of my uh, helmet so like this you can see so this is it so you can see the mount is uh, just towards the right it might look ugly but it does its job so you can see the re results in the later video all the beautiful people on the road so these are the accessories that you are going to need for this project so i have a gopro 10 so you will need a casing you will need a mic adapter to record the audio you need a j mount or a gopro original mount i'll i prefer the j mount and uh, this joints these are the straight joints and a bracket so i'm recording this video after quite a while like a month or two after the installation so i'll put in some videos where you can see how the angle is so if you don't want to use this kind of procedure uh, there's an alternative so you can buy this kind of attachment if you don't want to use the m seal uh, and you are more concerned about the looks of your helmet so you can buy this or this i won't recommend this one because uh, so the strap gets loose after a few kilometers so it's a bit risky if your action camera falls down so I won't recommend this. So these are the straight joints I was talking about. So let me show you how to install this on the helmet. So you will need this kind of case. All you have to do is put the camera inside, lock this and there's an external door with a slot. Right now I have not attached it, but I'll show you. So once this is done, uh, you have to attach this to the J mount. I have removed the smaller attachment and it's just uh, on one extension. So it's a very minimalistic look and you get a very vast range of angles as you can see and you can just straighten it up and you are good to go. So this is the door I was talking about. It has a slot 
so let's move on to the mic part so here you go it's look like a mess inside all you have to do is route the mic wire inside your helmet and these are this is my primary mic and uh, i also have a secondary mic attached here so just in case if this fails i have a backup so this is its wire so here's a tip apply this blue tag at the attachment where the mic is connected so you can avoid the static noise in the motor blog so many of you might have a question like uh, i'm getting a wind blast noise and it is not audible so here's another tip it all depends upon what kind of helmet you have so i have this exor hunter it has this kind of cushion uh, which is called chin curtain or something and look at this padding so what happens is uh, when the wind is high uh, the wind enters through your chin part so when you have this kind of protection the wind just bounces off and your mic is safe from the wind blast so that's it for this video and if you like the video please subscribe and if you have any queries please comment down below